here is selective cox 2 inhibitor like silbex silly uh, cox sib it is come in capsule like 200 mg capsule the 200 mg is od and 100 will be bd selective cox 2 inhibitor silly cox sib rafi cox sib and weldy cox sib just see the word cox sib these are selective cox 2 inhibitor they are going to inhibit the cox 2 enzyme which is present in inflammatory cells as i explained in the last video here this concept is very very important you see the linoleic acids or phospholipid in the cell membrane is going to convert into prostaglandin with the help of enzyme cox1 cox2 and cox3 now the cox1 is present in the platelet and git gastrointestinal system the cox2 is present in inflammatory cell the cox3 is present in the brain now here it is very important to understand the selective cox2 inhibitor because we will not affect the function of platelet and gastric mucosa if you see if we inhibit this cox1 uh, so the in the platelet there will be decrease in prostaglandin a2 formation so the chances of bleeding will be increase because this prostaglandin a2 is produced by a platelet and it help in platelet aggregation and vasoconstriction so just see the word a in a pga2 in platelet and aggregations now prostaglandin a2 is produced the gastric mucosa which increase the mucus secretion and the mucus is going to protest the gastric mucosa if you inhibit the cox1 there will be decrease in prostaglandin in two, two formation there will be decrease in gastric mucosal secretion so gastric mucosa protection will decrease and stomach ulcer will occur that's why the cox2 is selective cox2 inhibitors are very good because we are not going to affect the platelet function and we are not going to affect decrease the gastric mucosal protection now mode of actions these drugs are going to inhibit the cox2 enzyme which is present in inflammatory cells so they are going to decrease the fever so antipyretic decrease the pain analgesic and decrease the inflammation anti inflammatory activity the clinical uses of these drugs are very important because whenever we need the uh, uh, long term analgesic activity like rheumatoid arthritis and in osteoarthritis also in back pain and also in gout now these drugs are uh, going to absorb orally so pharmaco pharmacokinetics will be absorb orally orally absorb and metabolize in the liver via cytochrome p450 enzyme system and then are going to secrete through secreted in pieces for digestive system and also in urine or kidney so that's why these drugs are going to be contraindicated in contraindicated in severe liver disease and severe kidney disease these drugs have a uh, 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 these drugs selective cox2 inhibitors are better than other analgesics when we need the uh, analgesic activity for a long time so better than other instead whenever we need the analgesic activity for a long time like in rheumatoid arthritis the half life of these drugs is 11 hour still cox2 side effect of these drugs are headache diarrhea and abdominal pain the most common side effect is abdominal pain